Less than three months to Ghana's general election, political promises abound. In the camp of the NDC, this is what flag bearer John Dramani Mahama has been promising. In our next administration, the road between Wa and Bolgatanga will be a first class road. And we're going to create a fund which will be separate from the district assembly's common fund and government will take up the apprenticeship fee for them also when we come we'll upgrade the facilities at the uds Bama that's not all we will continue to upgrade facilities at the Wa airport so that it becomes a major destination for air travel mr mahama added to adopt scientific means of farming so that the young people will be interested in also farming and finally government will take up the apprenticeship fee for them and so we'll pay the fees to the master craftsmen. Mr. Mahama's running mate, Professor Nana Jeno Pokwajiman, has also been touring. We will have habit of abandoning projects that have started and started well. It's not as if we just cut the sword and abandon it. I mean, what does one say to this? If there's no financial loss, what is it? Let's go to Odudududu. The member of parliament for the area, Neil Ante Van der Poy, says he was allegedly beaten by some security operatives. Oh, a little bit of pressure on my eye makes me a bit distant and I'm also feeling pain in my chest where I was hit. He even mentioned names of those who beat him. The leader of the group is called Akbo or One Face. Tukayamas, Akofi, Kola, Nana, Kudi, Chris and then others. But the MPP parliamentary candidate there, Neil Antebanaman, thinks otherwise. There are these boys who have converted from the NDC to MPP. And I think they have scores to settle with the MP. And that I'm not going to condone. And I've told them. If they Mr. Van der Poy says he will petition the Speaker of Parliament. The police says it is investigating the matter. Joy News has been given the microphone to you to tell us what will inform your choice in the December polls. Follow and go and vote for somebody. When the person gets the power, the person don't know you again. So this year, I'm not going to vote. But what my dear mama, dear mama, parents now come on here. Market no near here. Last four years, I voted for MPP. By this year around, I will not vote because they didn't mind us, and I'm angry. Because... to my MPP. Men to my MPP. Men to back up. Now to a Japan royalties deal. The NDC says it will be writing to the London Stock Exchange. We are writing officially to the Financial Conduct Authority in the UK. We are putting them on notice. Mm. Chairman of the Minerals Income Investment Fund dare the NDC to write that letter. NDC will continue ranting this way. The NDC flag bearer also said his party will resort to the courts. We will do everything legitimately in our power to frustrate that agreement. So, what will revenue from the deal be used for? Deputy Information Minister Pius Hajide has the answer. Income from the Ejapa Mineral Royalty Limited arrangement would be used in four main areas, namely health, education, road infrastructure, and housing. Ghana opened its international airport for commercial flights, but not without some concerns about the $150 charges for a COVID-19 test. But maybe I'm sure they are charging administrative and also maybe the personal protective equipment and all. Government defended the fee. To pay $150 and keep Ghana safe. It is worth doing that. Then there was concern with the accuracy of the test to be conducted. I don't know why we have to do an antigen test which is less sensitive upon arrival. The FDA came to the defense of government. Mm. So for a device to be qualified and approved and be put on the market, it has to meet this acceptance criteria. All right. And this was what was done. The spillage of the Bagri Dam, coupled with torrential rains, had a huge toll on farmers in the region. I think that the minister needs to look at this critically because this is a recipe to hunger. The gender ministry announced some news for women branded as witches. What we are looking at is giving these wonderful elderly women a safe haven. President Ikufuado assured Nigerian traders of their safety and protection in Ghana as the two countries set in motion processes to address the retail trade and pass. You have to know that the, the, the population, the Nigerian population in Ghana, are safe. St. Augustine's College, congratulations on winning the contest. You did it. The annual NSMQ was launched. Are you seeing Egyptians around today? It is finished. Yeah.
New reggae dance hall artist of the year, Raskuku, has a new song. And that's a wrap of the week's major stories with me, Hannah Odami.